South Africa played host to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which concluded in Durban yesterday. The goal was to find ways of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The panel met to draft the report, which will be presented at the next United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in 2023. Joining us now from Durban is Maisela Kekana, Director of Climate Change at the Department of Environmental Affairs. Good to have you on the program, Maisela. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Leanne. Maisela, briefly explain to us what the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is all about. Uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is a scientific body uh, that gives us uh, information on climate change. Uh, so it produces what we call the assessment reports, uh, basically what the scientists do uh, over a period of five years. They do an assessment of literature and come out with these uh, reports. Uh, we are now working, they are now working on the sixth report uh, this so-called AR6, and uh, the work uh, has started and is going to conclude in 2021. Uh, and 2022, then they will do a synthesis of those reports, and 2023, of course, that will then inform uh, the first uh, global stock take under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. But for the IPCC to do their work, to do the big assessment reports, they have divided themselves into three working groups. So the first working group deals with the physical sciences and the second uh, uh, working group, which is what is meeting here in Durban, deals with the impacts, uh, adaptation and vulnerabilities. And the third uh, uh, working group deals with the mitigation aspects. So these are quite long reports. Uh, they take about five years. Mm. Um, and the meeting actually uh, just started on Monday. It will only conclude on Friday. Okay. And the meeting that is happening is what we call the lead authors meeting. This is the first uh, lead authors meeting under the working group two. Mm -hmm. The reason this meeting is taking place here in Durban is because South Africa, together with Germany, co-chair uh, this uh, working group two. So we've got Dr. Deborah Roberts, uh, as the co-chair who is based uh, at the city of Itequini and the University of KwaZulu-Natal, uh, co-chairing with uh, Hans Otto uh, from Bremer in okay. Germany. Okay, so talk to us about some of the other countries. You mentioned, you mentioned Germany, but I think um, for me, it's, it's, it's to see the presence of the United States in all of this. I mean, we know where uh, President Donald Trump stands on climate change. I mean, he's been quoted as saying he believes it's a hoax. So do you have any representation from the United States uh, at, at, this, at this climate change convention? There are about uh, 263 uh, authors uh, that have been selected to work on the Working Group 2 report. And uh, out of those uh, 263 or so uh, scientists, uh, there's quite a number of American scientists. In fact, overall, um, the USA contribute the largest number of scientists to the IPCC work. And indeed, we do have uh, American scientists mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in Durban working along their colleagues yeah. on this. And they and they in agreement. Um, I mean, I suppose it's 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 early to tell because, as you say, there's still there's still time. But um, the drafting process, I, I, I can imagine, mm -hmm. is quite a rigorous one. I mean, are there any points of contention? Uh, well, we can't talk about uh, points of contentions now. What I can tell you is that uh, uh, the scientists have been divided to work on 18 chapters plus five cross-cutting chapters, um, and, and they've just started uh, their work. This is the first lead authors meeting. So what's going to happen uh, now is that they are going to produce the first uh, uh, draft um, later this year, around August, uh, which will then be open for uh, reviewers to contribute uh, early next year, I mean late next year, 
and finally it will come to governments for review i think in 2020 or so yeah, um, yeah. so the cycle is quite long and yeah it it's sounds rigorous. like it uh, just to just to give you an example uh, because the ipcc just concluded the special report on 1.5 degrees that was adopted in uh, um, october first week of october last year there were about uh, uh, 4,000 um, uh, comments uh, that were made uh, on that particular report. Uh, mm. So, yeah, so it's, it's quite, quite intense. To, I, want to, yeah. I want to find out how, how um, the goal to limit global warming by one and a half degrees Celsius was actually reached. Why, why has it been decided on, on one and a half degrees Celsius as, 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 a, as a point of interest? Uh, well, uh, this goal comes from uh, Paris. Uh, you recall in 2015 there was a big uh, uh, climate change meeting in Paris in December under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change where we agreed on the two degree uh, as a goal. However, we agreed that we need to look at the possibilities of uh, changing this to 1.5 degrees. Uh, and simply because the countries from Africa, um, uh, from the small island states, were pushing for uh, 1.5 degrees. This is, this is a, a safer limit, uh, in our view, as compared to uh, 2 degrees. So the report uh, that was produced under the IPCC, because we mandated the IPCC to do that special report quickly yeah. in time, for COP24, which took place uh, last year. Okay, okay. The, the, the report compared um, the impacts on uh, under 1.5 degree scenario and the two degree scenario. But clearly it's quite, it, 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 it shows that uh, 1.5, it's it's safer limit. Uh, we, right. We're already over one degree and you can see the impacts Indeed. now. Indeed. Yeah. So imagine if we are to exceed 1.5 and go to 2 degrees, what it would look like. All right. Well, interesting uh, conversation, and it'll be uh, good to see what the, the, the final report actually does look like. But as you say, these things do take time, and we're expecting that report only to be finalized by, just clarity again, in August. Uh, no, no. The, f the final report would be adopted in 2021. In 2021. Okay. So that'll be the, f yes. the final report. But thank you very, very much for joining us here on the program. Maisela Kekana, Director of Climate Change at the Department of Environmental Affairs, talking to us on the sidelines of uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change uh, that's taking place in Durban.